I'm Darren Johnson from Aircraft and today we're in Radley Green in Essex fitting a wonderful mixed G 500 litre solar PV and heat pump cylinder with a Daikin Alpherma low temperature heat pump. The house itself is a very modern new build. It's based on a Potton Homes timber framed house, highly insulated. We've got underfloor heating on both floors. We're using mechanical ventilation with a bit of air tempering with a cooling battery off the air source heat pump. And the whole house is going to work together to give the utmost of indoor air comfort for the occupants, James and Rachel. Unlike a lot of the other cylinders on the market, obviously when you use a heat pump, it has to be a specialist heat pump cylinder. That's a mandatory because you need the surface area on the heat exchanger coil. But the lovely thing about the mixed year is it's been designed with a plate heat exchanger, which is external to the system, which not only gives a very high energy transfer from the heat pump, which results in faster heat up times. It's got some amazing technology that allows you to do different things with the amount of charge in the cylinder. So you can set up the level of charge based on your requirements so if the house isn't fully occupied and you're running the solar PV you can set up stratification levels to only charge up 50% of the cylinder if you need to. If you're on the heat pump then you can charge the whole of the cylinder but it's got some really clever technology that's patented and built in that enables you to do things that no other cylinder on the market can do. In terms of fitting the cylinder, it's absolutely identical to any other mains pressure unvented cylinder. So if you're qualified to the G3 standard and you've done that training course, you're going to have no problems fitting this at all. The other benefit of it is that you can use it on a gas boiler if that's the, the legacy system and then upgrade it later to fit the heat exchanger. But in terms of connectivity, it's absolutely no different to any other mains pressure cylinder that you've ever dealt with. On board the system is a very intelligent control unit which basically decides which energy source it's going to draw from. This is all connected via the Mixergy app on the owner's telephone or iPad and you can actually set up whether you're using heat pump, whether you're using the electric through the PV. Um, that side of it is all very much menu driven. It's quite straightforward for the installer to set up. It runs through a sequence of commissioning, it takes you through to the, the handover of the system from the installer to the homeowner, who then sets up an account for them to control it themselves. But overall, it's a very, very easy process, it takes about 10 minutes to set up. It automatically finds its way through the network in the home and talks to the Mixu cloud. The benefits for the installer are many really because not only is it a very straightforward system to install, it gives us the ability to offer something different to our clients that they like. You know, everybody likes app control technology now. It reassures the customer that they've got enough hot water in the system. You can always know the amount of hot water there is to use, especially if you've got guests staying. It gives you ultimate control to, to boost it should you run low on hot water. Um, but in terms of giving a, a differentiator for an installer, it's a lovely product to work with. I mean, we've been uh, very impressed with not only the technology, the product, the people that we work with at Mixergy. They're very proactive. They give us a lot of technical backup and they're really enthusiastic about the, the world of renewables in general. I install Mixergy because I just love the technology and I love to give somebody something a little bit extra with that wow factor. You know, I'm very enthusiastic about energy efficiency. It's lovely to have the app controls and, and do smart things with home automation and that really for me is uh, what sells it. Mm -hmm.